The topic for today is vascular function tests. What are they? Well, here's the definition. It's a group of non-invasive tests which measure the abilities of your arteries to expand or dilate and constrict in response to challenges. You know, these tests can be helpful because most of my channel practice, almost all of it is a remote or telemedicine practice. We don't use a lot of this because we just can't get a lot of access to our patients for these activities. But again, Todd Eldridge has a lot of that in his programs. Those of you who are getting CIMTs from Todd may want to ask him about some vascular function testing. Again, the tests can be helpful, but they require advanced quality systems to be reliable. And as many of you know, who have uh, seen some of our content on CIMT testing, it's the same issue. Quality and reliability in this type of testing is very similar to CIMT. The quality, the reproducibility is critical. And this is a favorite topic for a lot of guys, erectile dysfunction. Erectile dysfunction is simply a failure of vasodilation, that function of arteries in the penis. It's a significant known risk factor for cardiovascular disease. Cialis and Viagra create vasodilation similar to nitric oxide. That's actually how they work. For those of us who have been long distance runners, sometimes between 15 minutes and an hour, you hit that second wind. You start relaxing, you start feeling like, you know what, it's not quite so much a struggle as it was in the beginning to do this running. That second wind is the vasodilation. It's where you've had a nitric oxide developed by the intima. You've had a vasodilation. The media of the arteries in your legs has opened up and it's allowing much better blood blood flow than it did in the beginning of the run. So these are just some examples of what happens with this type of vascular function and some of the reason why that's popular to test. Compromise can be reflected and measured via vascular function testing. Now, what is it that causes problems with arterial function? If we've said it once, we've said it a thousand times, it's lifestyle. Aging is a big deal. The inevitable insulin resistance prediabetes that overtakes us as we age, and especially as we gain body fat and lose muscle mass. Those things have a big deal. In addition to other changes in our hormonal, the docs would call it mayu, in our hormonal makeup. So these things cause this problem. So what do we do about it? Again, you can't change your age, but you can decrease body fat. You can make changes in your lifestyle. You can focus on muscular atrophy, and those things can help with loss of vascular function. You feel that when you're exercising. You feel it in your ability to catch your breath. Muscle pain, what the docs call myalgias. You see, myo is a prefix meaning muscle, and algia means pain. After initial efforts to re restart an exercise program, you start feeling better as you start losing body fat, gaining muscle, doing the right things in terms of your lifestyle. The goal of most vascular tests is to measure damage to the the intima or the endothelium. 